today to share with you guys what I juice. So I typically juice uh, maybe two to three times a week. I try not to do it every single day. What I will do is make enough juice for me to drink for at least two days and then I'll juice another two juices um, the next day or the day after. Uh, it just gets really expensive juicing and it is really time consuming just to cut up all of the fruit and make sure it's ready for the juicer. So I wanted to just do a quick video on one juice that I love to drink. It's primarily the juice that I drink all the time. I don't really tend to branch out and do a bunch of different juices. I've been experimenting with different um, types of fruit and this is the, I would say the cocktail that I love the most. I feel like it's the most beneficial for me and it's something that I can literally drink every single day and not waste it. Um, so I prefer juicing over smoothies just because I like the texture of the juice versus the texture of a smoothie, but I pretty much put all the same ingredients that I would put in a smoothie in my juice that I do every day. So without further ado, let's get into what I juice. So I'm going to start out with the fruit that I use. I have some green apples here, some red apples, some mango. I have um, some ginger and I have a handful of spinach and like three mint leaves mixed into that spinach. So what you're going to do is you're going to place the fruit in the juicer first and then you put your spinach or your leafy greens in between the different uh, whole pieces of fruit because what that's going to do is that's going to help pull the nutrients from the leafy greens. It's harder to do that when you have the greens in by themselves so I suggest putting them in between um, the pieces of fruit. I, I actually read that in my juicing book. It was like a little tip that they gave because you'll see that if you just put the leaves in there, they don't always get pulled through the juicer. So you just want to make sure that you have something to kind of weigh those leaves down so that they go through as well and you get those nutrients from your spinach or your kale or whatever you're going to put in there. So I like to use about four to five different pieces of fruit when juicing. Um, unfortunately, you guys, juicing can get expensive. To me, I find this way better than going out and buying like juices from the store that people juice or from different companies. Um, to me, this is just more bang for your buck. You can buy as much fruit as you want and juice as much as you want versus spending five to six dollars a day on juicing or forty dollars on a juicing uh, plan or one of those juicing meal plans. You can just do it yourself at home. Just get yourself a juicer. This was no more than ninety nine dollars. It's by Breville. I got it at Best Buy and um, I have found it to be so useful. I literally use this juicer if not every day or every other day. Um, I make about two juices because if I were to do this all day, drink all day long, guys, it would cost me a million dollars. So I find that when juicing a whole cup, I tend to use a lot more pieces of fruit so you guys are gonna want to buy a lot of fruit whatever fruit it is that you want to put in your juice buy a lot of it don't buy just like five or six apples because you're gonna use at least three or four just to make one good cup of juice so this is basically what I do and I like once I'm done juicing I like to shake it up mix it in there and then I pour it into a mason jar put a lid on it and pop it in the fridge let it get cold and I drink it throughout the day I like to fill up the entire mason jar um, I didn't on this one um, but normally I do and honestly guys this juice is so good so I suggest you try it check out my blog for more info I'll leave everything below love you guys bye 